Welcome back to Geek Show Help Desk. All hey, right. I am hey so happy to be back. I know you guys all missed me, and it's Did really I? touching. It's touching. Yeah, Thank me you. and Tony, me and Tony I, were I, ready last week, but uh, two panelists that shall not be named weren't. I, I I I missed Owen for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Are you are you okay with the music there, Tony? Is it supposed to still be going? <laughs> I think it <laughs> it's is. one week and everything goes to well, crap. It's, in it's intros. We're, we're supposed to be doing intros. I feel like that went in an ordinate amount of time. Oh, oh well, it's done. Go. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> there you go. One week. What off. I really wanted was uh, was this sound effect when Jaron said, "Hi guys, I, uh, aren't, didn't you miss me? It's good to be back." Oh, okay. That's, that's was that the arcade music? No. Okay. Arcade music is much more staccato and it's, it's, much more, it's, it's chip tune. Yeah, it's chip tune. Oh, oh, I, I don't man. remember. Do you the remember when chip Remember when chip tune came out? I paid money for that app. I want, I'm not. I'm not ashamed to say it. I bought that app when it came out. That was revolutionary. Ring what did you do with it? How much music did ring you tones, create? Ringtones. I just. I didn't create anything. I just used it to get access to all the other creators. Oh, and I see. Do cool okay. ringtones. Same reason I bought uh, Super Mario Maker for the Switch. I didn't make a single level on that. Yeah, I played no, I just other wanted people's. to play. Yeah, I wanted to play other people's you know. creations. Well, we'll save that talk for the next episode. This is Geek Show Help Desk, where we talk about tech gadgets and sciency things. Let's uh, introduce our panelists. We're back from our hiatus, uh, one week without us. But you made it. You made it. You managed to survive, and we survived as well. It was Look tough. It was tough. Yeah, we're here. I had a real hard time. Things I heard okay complaints now. from multiple people. No. I did, yeah. No, you that, did. I feel flattered. Makes, we should feel yeah. flattered. I Great feel job, good. guys. Yeah. A good friend and a good brother. That's we all. were we oh. were missed <laughs> by <laughs> somebody. We were missed by somebody, and that's no. what matters. Somebody was like, My wife doesn't do listen a, to me. <laughs> go do a wellness check on those guys. That's what it was. It wasn't it wasn't we were missed. They were like, they might be dead in their apartments or something. <laughs> I actually got one of those messages from Twyman once on a week that we mix, missed. You still alive? He did. Yes. Did you die? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he was probably too busy getting his Onyx badge in uh, Halo. So, probably. All right, uh, Owen, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, you can find me here in this nice plum shirt. If you're watching the YouTube's, uh, plum crazy. Plum, I'm plum crazy. Uh, yeah, Owen, follow me here. This is where you're gonna get me. Okay. And the, and the and the Geek Show Arcade. Well, yeah, naturally. We got Lando. Hey, it's here. Lando. I'm here. That's awesome. I'm also on Threads. I, I I peruse and peruse the Threads app quite what often. I'm off. Did you say peruse and peruse? I, I think I it's did. peruse. That's exactly what I said. I said what I meant, and I meant what I said, Jared. I, don't give me crap. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> it was just so. a question. You're, you're freaking no, out. No, not from you. It's not. There's always that's, an alternative motive. Oh, that's what you always learn, right? That's the, that's the first thing you learn about Jared. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's all. That's me. I'm awesome. <laughs> hey, Jared. Speaking of awesome, I'm Jaren. Debatable. Play, drop those crickets in. <laughs> uh, you can find me on. How did I miss that? Oh, and how Geek did I miss show that? Show Arcade. I was I was too busy trying to formulate some sort of joke based on you had his, it and uh, you had it right you at your fingertips. Yep. yep. It was hey, a slow pitch. And he's just... got his own, uh, you know, name. I have my own emoji. Right there. I have my I, I have my own emoji one. in our in our super secret Slack. Yeah, that's it's what we use a, for errors. Yeah, and it's just a picture of me. It's, <laughs> it's more more than just that, though. It is. Like, like it, you, it you can't explain it. Like you you know what an Owen emoji is you for. Just know what it's yeah, for. you can't yeah. describe it though. Yeah, it's like when you see sense. somebody else describing blockchain or Bitcoin to somebody else. You're just okay. like Owen emoji. <laughs> speaking of which, <laughs> we got uh, a host, Tony. Oh, yeah. Hey, not speaking of that, but hey, I'm the host. Check me out on Twitter at Quad T Tony or on lots of other Geek Show podcast uh this week all of the geek show podcasts actually i was on the space show show it was good Ooh, times. how was it? It was, it was good we talked about uh star trek stuff that was announced at san diego comic-con this year mm. so it was fun i'm gonna check that out uh speaking of blockchain though i watched the first episode of futurama's new season it's all about nfts and the blockchain and yes it's a good one it, <laughs> it, was, it was a good one i still Are need they... to finish the other season oh, yeah jaren great show you're missing out Shame, shame. All right. We have email. Emails? We do. Aaron's going to keep it on track tonight. Do we, do we have any email? I already said we have email, and I'm waiting for the email 
sound. There we go. We have five emails. I'm only going to read three because five emails. We have uh, two for next week. Quite a big show. Yeah, we got two Um, weeks worth of stories. Yes, got an email from Argo Spartan. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, help desk my Astros. Meat, Hope meatballs. this email finds you well. It has. While listening to last week's episode and Lando sharing his experience with the CrowdStrike fiasco, mm. it piqued a question for it piqued a question I have for you guys. What do you guys use for home internet security? I used to have a McAfee like <laughs> program ten years ago, but have slowly stopped using it as I felt it was a waste of money and caused more problems for my PC than solving. Yep. You McAfee. are correct. That guy, the, the program is as crazy as the application. Yeah. As the guy, yeah. Or as the, as the guy, I mean. And the program is crazy as the dude. Yep. I switched over to a VPN provider for a few years, thinking that was a good way to filter things for myself, but recently stopped paying for that service also. Plus, it doesn't really provide any security features for viruses and such. Currently, yep. I don't have anything other than what comes natively with Windows. Windows I don't Defender. venture. I don't venture into murky waters of the internet, so my only exposure would be through a hack to a company site I would frequent. Is that enough, or should I look into something? Sorry for the long question. Side note, I'm in healthcare. My wife is finance, and the CrowdStrike issues were playing havoc with our systems all day long. Ooh, Thanks, guys. All right, go Spartan. I don't use anything. And I was going to say, that's never had the problem. same. My opinion is Windows Windows uh, Defender used to suck. It's, but but they, they in the last their game. five years, yep. they have completely changed they've that been, around. They've been moving. Game, they've been moving. Sorry, I need to reverse it. They've been moving this way on yeah. the Gartner up chart, you know, yeah. up and to the right on the Gartner quadrant. So And it's, and it's free. It comes with Windows. It's um, pretty good. I don't bother with uh, any sort of firewall on my network. I do. Other than. I, 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 I have an in, though. My co- company I worked for had Sophos Premium. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're an enterprise admin and you just threw up a little in your mouth, I, I, we, I understand <laughs> that what you understand from Sophos Premium in an enterprise environment is accurate. But be, when you subscribe to that as an enterprise, everybody in your company also gets the option to sign up for Sophos Home. And Sophos Home is a very fantastic project or, pro, or a program, like a product, sorry. Um, because it lets you add up to 10 devices for the paid one and uh, for the for the Sophos Home uh, premium was they call it Sophos Home premium and um, you get to you get to monitor all the web filtering so what Windows Defender lacks is web filtering content filtering website filtering Windows yeah. Defender will catch data on your device, it will catch things that try and execute on your device, but it right. does not catch data in flight. It does not do content checking, and it does not do any of that advanced type of antivirus stuff. And if you're just not going anywhere, I mean, in general, you're you're fine. Um, you know, on rare occasions, sometimes websites will get hacked, and they'll have some sort of code injection in the background that you don't know about. These kind of upper, I wouldn't even say that Sophos Home is prosumer. Um, definitely in the consumer market, but way above McAfee or AVG. So I, 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 I want or... to say words now. Go ahead. Oh, and can I say words? <laughs> yes, I want. Thanks, I, Lando. I, Thank I you. Just, you were getting in want... ramble mode. No, 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 no. I was just gonna say. I love. <laughs> He's it still for, talking. I, I love it for. I've put it on my in-laws, my mother, my like. I don't use it on my personal one. That's what I was getting to. I don't want. Took it, you a long but... time to get there, bud. I have Whoa. words to say, but I'm not going to say them. <laughs> they Lando, were too, you're the new Jaren. Do they I were too to hurtful. The, I ironed it. That you was get the mantle hurtful. of Jaren. But here's the well, thing. We have five want, emails to get through, so. I know. Yeah. I just I just <laughs> want to say one more thing. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> and I hope Sophos isn't listening. We stopped using Sophos Premium at my company six years ago. But my free, my, my license that I get for free, only if your company is using Enterprise Sophos, is still perpetually free well that brings us to the segue for our sponsor sophos, sophos internet shiz. <laughs> Just kidding. do not tell sophos it's i got a good thing going here i'm emailing them right now okay lando what are the stupid words you want to say so i'm with i'm with i'm with um tony and jaren and i got nothing but if i were i've i've been eyeing a product called the firewalla 
uh, for the a firewall great, a little they're bit. They're great devices. I've been looking at that for a long time. Side, but, but they're just a little it's, it's device, not, and they are fantastic. But it depends no on what you need. So, right? so that's so, the nice thing. Yeah. There's no subscription. So you pay right. once. So there's different speeds. If you get away with once. yeah, 230 for 500 gig or 500 megabit, uh, if you need a gig, it's 350. Yeah. Firewall, so, firewall is a device, right? Like it's a yeah. hardware. It's a device. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's a yeah, hard, see, it's a hard firewall. It creates, I, it's, it creates your, you can create your own VPN to your own network too, which is see, nice from your phone. And if you're and, gonna, if you're gonna pay for that and have to pay for throughput, like so, firewall is limiting your throughput. Oh, you get 500 megs. But why not just build a PS Sense then? If that, you if could you're do doing that. It for you could do that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, right? you could do that. So an, another great option. Uh, you guys know Cloudflare. Cloud. Cloudflare, Cloudflare, Cloudflare's Cloudflare. <laughs> DNS 1.1.1.1. Yeah. Well, there is a 1.1.1.2, which filters malware, and 1.1.1.3, yeah. which filters malware and adult content. Oh. So just go into your router, change your change DNS your settings DNS to 1.1.1.3. Is it, is it and, pretty good for the adult content yeah. stuff? It's Cloudflare, so it's I mean, however. I never you don't tested have any, it, but I use it for a while. You have control over that. Yeah, Keep Jared's that not going to give up that your, adult stuff. He the, needs the, that butt stuff. The f- <laughs> The filtering that it, the fil- he laughs he laughs too hard. It means it's accurate. Um, the filtering that that provides will be completely controlled by whatever Cloudflare decides needs to be filtered. So I wish do, they would do it for have ads no though. That. I wish they could do it as an ad blocker. Like I yeah. use Brave Browser for that primarily because it does a lot of that same stuff. But I would love that at the DNS level. I just I just wonder how much slower the DNS queries and returns are when you have to go through that filtering. If it just blocks them or does it have to algorithm them and look at them and like, I love Cloudflare's 1.1.1.1 versus Google's 8.8.8.8. But I do notice a slow, a slowdown. They do say it's fast, but of course they would. Yeah. But yeah, you can't customize it, but if you're just looking for an easy thing to do, yeah, it's, it's, easy it's that's a good. I've, yeah. I've used it before. Easy like setting an, to change and, too. And your, and your internet security, network security is all it's a brickwork, right? Like it's it's a patchwork. You do a lot of yep. different things. Yeah. You don't don't just do. There's one no thing, so. one silver bullet. Yeah, I'm I'm this close. It'll happen probably next year, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna re- redo all of my networking stuff with Ubiquity. It's and a, they, that's such a good system too. They provide also a firewall. Yeah, you know everything like that. What's really to cool too is so if you go end to end with I do Ubiquity, that, I'll let you know. Once you go end to end with Ubiquity, you can see every net. Like the whole thing is their dashboard is amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, if it weren't the cost, I'd do it right now. But mm-hmm. I've spent too much money already this year on. Would you even like go that. with their APs? Do you like hundred percent? Their, their APs are like great. Them. I'm doing do everything. Like the the uh, only thing I'm not doing is a switch because it's just a dumb switch. The one that I would get, and I have a dumb switch that works fine. But I'm gonna get right. the, uh, I'm gonna get the uh, cloud, whatever key? that cloud key thing. What's it called? Cloud gateway, but the big one. Uh, yeah. Anyway, and then well, uh, like three APs. We so. have 20 stories, guys. At this rate, we're going to be a over four-hour show. So uh, let's move Sorry. on to the next email. Uh, we're only going to do two today, That's given fine. the lengthy <laughs> email we just did. I got an email hey. from Johnny. He says, <laughs> I just thought I'd let you guys know, because of this show, I now reset my router weekly. Hey, that a boy, ha- Johnny. Here, here, Thanks, Johnny. 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 Johnny, please write in and tell Lando how much better your network is running. I'm going to tell you a story about my parents' Ubiquity router. So I got a Ubiquity router that I managed for my parents, and ask me how many times I've had to reset it in the past two years. Yeah, ask me. Go ahead. Guess, ask me. Guess what? Guess what? what? You... Ubiquity is prosumer and professional level. Yeah. Yeah, and, but you can get it for a pretty and, reasonable price. There's, Johnny, not, there's and, no argument there. It's it's yeah. actually really good bang for your buck. But everyone else, Asus, also, Netgear, okay. ask me Linksys. how many often, how, ask, me, ask me how often I reset my Google um it's not about Hub, if you right, have router, to. Router, so I you're apply, asking apply. you're asking how many times you have to do it, right? You, it's having to do it. It's not the, that's not the question. We choose to do it to Why? make it run better, no. because okay. it clears the cache and the memory. Just like any machine that runs in forever, it has it has memory and, leaks. And my, my point Ghosts is, it in the machine. Right. It should be built right to run forever. That's just not physics, my guy. That's not it how voltage physics. and components work. <laughs> you know, having those servers that like have the uptime of like Let. four or five years, and you're like, this thing can no, never they be don't. rebooted. No, they don't. They just I have, have a hot number swap. of those servers. They yeah. have hot swap, and it just migrates to a new piece of hardware in the cloud. 
You don't know what they're running that on. No, they in my data center. Over. In my data center, Owen, there are physical no. servers that have been on for literal well, years. You should reboot them. They'll probably run better. No, never. No, it's a record. <laughs> We're going for a record. Yeah. Anyway. Lando likes, to, Lando likes to live in fantasy land. Yeah, anyway, Johnny, works. write in, write in, Johnny, and just tell it's us how much better. You've it. made a good choice, Johnny. Yep, I approve. <laughs> of Fantastic my choice. Is, my name is Owen, and I know it's I like speak for Lando. It's like putting duct tape on a leak on a boat and saying, "Yeah, it's good enough." I'll if put a new works. piece of duct tape on every week. No, it works. flex tape. If it's cheap. Even, if it's a boat, it's really just a. It's really just a help. It's like. Opening okay. the yeah, window when it's leak. below okay. when we're, the temperature drops. Fifteen minutes. Lower, we're gonna roll long. forward. We're yeah. gonna roll forward. <laughs> you get to make my cool weather joke. <laughs> Sorry, right. bud. You, you took too long to get there. Dang, it was super hot. <laughs> the show's been ninety <laughs> percent Owen so far. <laughs> we got we got to keep rolling. I still snuck it in. Super hot. <laughs> Boom. Good All job. Right. Weather joke. Let's uh, let's talk about some of these stories. We got a few uh, announcements that happened this week, um, and a few things that make you go. Hmm. Huh. Huh. You gotta um, watch the the John Stewart of the Huh. Anyway. Huh. The huh. uh Google Google's in trouble. They've been they've been doing dumb things. Um, but we already knew that. Specifically though, they have been deemed monopolistic with their what? search engine. No yeah, can you way. believe that? Monopolistic? The search the Can't, only search engine everyone that uses must be, on a regular basis? That is, must be new behavior. Because that's <laughs> not how they've always been. I know those guys. So the fact that everyone uses Google isn't what makes it a monopoly. Mm-mm. What the courts have uh decided and the DOJ argued that um the fact that Google pays people like Apple and Mozilla and Samsung tons of money to make it the default search engine in their os or on their application that's what they're saying is monopolistic and anti-competitive because it uh basically using their money their wealth that what the power they have on the platform yeah once it's the default most people don't care they just use it you know what i mean this is the same thing that microsoft got dinged for with uh internet explorer back in the late 90s or and i remember that a recent development only Google is allowed to index Reddit now because Google paid Reddit. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah that's why when you go to searches. Bing, that's why when you go to Bing, by the way, if you use Edge and it defaults the Bing browser, search, search, whatever, you won't get any Reddit results. Yep. So, or at least, they're, they're or at least far down. Yeah. You won't get the most recent ones and stuff like yeah, that. So, funny. Uh, now, I mean, that's that's a, that's a different issue, but it, it is still goes it to is the same thing. Another it's right example in the same vein, right? of yeah. of them spending money to, um, you know, do stuff like that. However, I mean, what's to stop Bing or uh, DuckDuckGo or anything like money. that? Money, yeah, money, yeah, money. Paying that, Apple that, and Samsung. No, 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 no. I'm, saying, I'm, I'm, I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, that no. I'm talking about Reddit. They just need to cut a deal with Reddit to use their. I wouldn't be surprised if Google did some sort of now. If there's some sort of non-exclusivity, yeah, yeah. exclusivity, yeah. that's a that's different even story, worse, right? You like know, that's, even that's more a different mon- story. Monopolistic. So, yep. And then, uh, last but not least, in the Google realm, uh, they have completely uh, given up trying to get rid of cookies. You remember a couple of years ago they said they, they were going to eliminate yeah. cookies from yeah. their browsers, and they finally just said. Yeah. Eh, we get so much data hard we get so much data from those though and people are just so conditioned to say accept all cookies yep so their their, uh their argument basically by um abandoning that project is basically that uh what was it here was probably blamed everybody else for that yeah it was basically basically saying nobody else nobody else would would help would yeah the websites the websites didn't want to go along with it and do the work that it would take for it to actually go through blah 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 which may or may not be a legitimate concern but uh, all they had to do was turn cookies off at some point and the websites would get updated pretty darn quick well it's it's another initiative that goes to the google graveyard that's true yep yep my my question is: Isn't cookies the main way that websites scrape that metadata though? Like that randomized user data is from cookies. Yeah, exactly. So advertise any any yeah. website that used advertising did not want to get rid of. Cookies. I mean, if James of were here, not. he would say marketing runs the world, right? Yeah. Like radio, cookies TV, run marketing. <laughs> everything started with marketing, and like like TV was just a way to feed ads to people, and then they thought, well, if we put a show there, people will come to the TV, so we can feed them ads easier. 
Yep. Anyway. So here was their, here was their exact statement. Uh, a shift away from cookies, quote, requires significant work from many participants and will have an impact on publishers, advertisers, and everyone involved in online advertising. Yeah. So, Google's, board. Quote, Google's board said no. Basically, yeah. As soon as you they, hear advertisers, which is a synonym for Google. Money. Yeah. They Don't said, well, how much money, money are we going to lose? Speaking of Google Graveyard, Chromecast mm. is dead. No. Really? It is gone. Okay. Actually, okay. Never mind. Yeah. However, mm. they do have a replacement. It is the, oh, what do they call it? Google TV Streamer. Catchy. Very original that's name. Way, Very yeah, catchy. That's, that's way yeah. better than Chromecast. So instead of like a $25, $30 device like the Chromecast originally was, now their cheapest device is $100. It's basically an Apple TV yeah. in Google form. Yep. They're competing with that like Roku. Set at, a, at $100, yeah. though, you're still cheaper than an Apple TV. So but you also get ads consider. on the home screen, which I detest. Oh, nope. So Another I'm out with that. To consider. Yep. Yeah, that's why I got rid of my NVIDIA Shield, because they started putting yep. ads on front and center on Google TV, Android TV, whatever they call it nowadays. Yep. And someone with small kids, like some of those ads were, Sunny. it was something I didn't want my small kids to see, yeah, you know? Right. Yep. They weren't well, all no small to, kid no appropriate. Way, so no way to opt out. No way to nope. set age preferences. Nope. Nothing. Milf, you just get milf what they. Manor season two. Yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah. <laughs> That's no, I thing. think one of it was like because uh, you watched Milf Manor season one. <laughs> aren't you it was like an American <laughs> horror story thing that it was oh, like a yeah. very grisly, terrible image. You For know? sure. Yep. That's yeah. Tough. Anyway, so if if you're into that sort of thing, um, hundred dollars isn't bad, um, but it's just a standard device. Sports 4K, HDR, um, Dolby Atmos, you know, all the standard things that these boxes support nowadays. Yep. So nothing nothing special, but... It's got its I, own remote now. Yeah. Has yeah. A, yep. Yeah. Certainly more useful than a Chromecast. But, but, it's, but in a, it's, in a, it's in a crowded market, right? Like It is. It is. And Chromecast was actually pretty su- successful. Was, there was tens yeah. of millions of devices out there. They were easy to set up. They were very portable. They Super ran cheap. power off the USB behind the TV. Mm. Yep. Like they... And I assume they're not killing it. They're just not supporting it anymore. Like they're not all. They'll just all let the, it, you know, die on the vine. Yeah, right. Basically, basically. they yeah. won't support. They won't update it anymore. Yeah, make any new versions of it. Blah blah blah. Uh, you know what? Let's hit on this Nest thermostat too. That's Google. Yep. After a decade, Google is finally updating their highest model Nest thermostat. They hasn't put, been a decade. It has. It has. So the Person, one you have, Tony, no has it. That's that's like that was their lower end model, and but they had the Nest thermostat model version three or whatever that's been yeah. out since I think 20, 2015. 20, yep. Twenty. I got mine in twenty sixteen. Bullshit. It was the, yeah. I just yep. bought one of those two weeks ago. <laughs> Dang oh, it. <laughs> that's too bad. So there's a new version or new software? There, new version. Both. Both. Oh, yeah, both. New version with new software. It doesn't look like the old versions are getting the new goodies. Oh. But there's like complications slash widgets you can put on, on the home screen now with like air quality index of outside stuff, temperature. Um, it looks like a very shiny cookie that you can twist. It a glass does. cookie. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Um, I honestly like the look of the old version better on yeah. my wall. I don't like the price of this. Two hundred and eighty bucks. Yeah, it's pricey. Ooh, it's expensive. very pricey. I don't regret my purchase now. I think I got okay. mine for like one sixty, and I need to send in the rebate to the power company and get another sixty five dollars. Yeah, back. but besides so. widgets, besides widgets, what other what the other big thing, functionality? Does don't it forget about they got to cram some AI in there. There's yeah, some... yeah. So they they claim their AI is making it even smarter, though. I just want a schedule. That's all I want. That's 100%. Like, it does I, learn you every month, right? First thing it does, thing thing I does, does and it's sucks. pushing up my temperature. It's like I, I used, my house Me used too. to be at 75. Now that's suddenly 76. I'm and always hot. I'm like, why did you do that? It goes in the other direction. First yeah. thing I do is I turn off all the eco stuff. I turn off all the sense if I'm home or not stuff. Yeah. Mine only does the schedule, and it stays rock solid on that schedule. I do appreciate the if it de- if it detects both of your phones are gone, it will put it to away like mode. I don't that want away like. mode. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, not in the summer. I, yeah. I don't. I don't mind a way mode in the winter time, but I'm I had, way mind in the summer. It's so uh, much. I, if I'm coming home, yeah. if I'm coming home and it's gone away for five hours and it's eighty degrees in my house at that yeah. point, no way. Screw well, not only issues. that, but it's more. It's less efficient to to have to big temperature really swings cool. in the summer. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's way less and efficient. It's so much more efficient. It's a consistent. Time. Mine only turns on about. when we're like on vacation, so I'm fine yeah. with it. I have on to, vacation, you. I have to worry about. Yeah, vacations. I have to worry about pets, right? Like I can't have my cats living in. 78 degree weather or actually you can i learned firsthand <laughs> do you know <laughs> my, simon was like this millions is of years cats have lived outside did you know that or well not this year. was even hotter not Holy this crap, year are you serious yeah, Wait, yeah, yeah. Cats millions can go of years? outside um so are, the, yeah, the, the main thing cats. though that's upgraded is it has matter support so oh that's eh. dope um it will work with well, it's dumb it'll work with apple home kit now dope yeah, it's a dope. Oh, I heard dumb. dumb. Matter I'm sorry, is I don't good. Use, but I don't yeah. use... I'm not an athlete, though. I'm not, um, I'm not Their cheaper Nest thermostat did have matter support. They added that as a software update. Um, but the Nest thermostat that this one's replacing, the more expensive model, never got matter, which is annoying. Uh, so anyway, here you go. New Nest thermostat. It's been a long time. I'm, I'm not upgrading mine. I have no the third, need to. The third gen doesn't get a doesn't get a nice sweet overhaul and software. You have yeah, to get the new I'm one. I'm sure they'll say it's not powerful enough or something to have. <sighs> Which is it. ridiculous. I'm sure yeah. It's crap. Yeah. It's, it's such a crap. Only thing I would want is HomeKit support, but I have my own HomeKit server, so I get right. that anyway. Yep. Um, let's see. What is this? iOS Thanos. Oh, save for next week. Oh, okay. I can talk about Thanos. This is actually pretty yeah. dope. Yeah, this is it. this is part of the new. So this got released in the most recent beta, eighteen point um, six or something of the like new that. iOS. Yeah, so it's a feature. What the, oh, sorry, cat. I just kicked my cat. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, so what this else. is is so you know how there's like extra <laughs> options you can do with your web pages, like do read mode and stuff like that. Um, in iOS, this is a new option, and you can ignore and hide certain parts of the of the web pages you're looking at. And the animation is freaking sweet. Oh, that looks so. You cool. see that? It yeah, literally that like. You press hide and it goes. Get out of here! It like floats away and is gone. Yeah. It Thanos snaps ads off your browser screen. It's so oh, freaking cool. That's way cool. Yeah, it's a you really know, cool feature. The only thing that sucks about it is it's kind of hard to access and it's not super intuitive yet. But do you know cool. what would be? The, do you want know to be useful? Uh, so on iOS, it allows ad blockers. Has for a couple of years now. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, you can make the horrible Twitter experience into a decent Twitter experience. Use an ad blocker to block all the crappy tweet ads on there then use the Thanos snap feature to delete the uh little there you go. screen scrollers right the, little... the for you section yeah. so people like me who are stuck on twitter and get tempted by that for you section it can Don't just go it. away let me um, say you in can an actually, election not... year just avoid the for you section in an election do, year. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well i'm not sure if it happens on the mobile version but the de- desktop version of arc you can actually remix web pages and do exactly what you're yep. talking about jaron yep Arc is great. Oh, side note, PSA, Arc on Windows is pretty good now. It's really good. I've been it's using it. It's pretty dang good. I've They've been using it solid for pretty about... pretty close to feature parity, right? Yeah, like, I've been using it solid now for, left. for like a month, and I can I can recommend it now, I'd say. Yeah, the AI features will make it worth it to me. The spaces took me a little bit to get used to, but once, once I did, I had them, once, I had them t- once I had them tuned... Yep. Oh, yeah, my, when I first got my director job and my boss was like, okay, when you're on Amazon, you got to make sure you have like two different browsers for your personal Amazon and the business Amazon. I guess for that. Arc's profiles work fine. It's yeah, awesome. profiles on any yep. browser do that. Did you not know about profiles? I got Arc before profiles profiles were a thing on other browsers, but, I think. I don't know, Jaren. I use Arc. Arc. browsers forever. <laughs> no, uh, like, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. For years. You have, go, you have to go change the profile up there with Arc. You just, it's on the side. You just, you just swipe. It. Yeah, it's great. I love yeah. it. No, it's easy on Chrome. It's easy on Safari. You're like one of those people. You're like one of those people that uses the three finger swipe up to make a new desktop, though. Like, sometimes. Re- See, I yeah. knew it. I do that. I love you it. You do that? You use oh, extra yeah. desktops? 100%. Oh, if I, I tried if I and I just, I'm like, what? Here's, here's I tried and I forget about it. I'm like, no, no. What, what the hell? Here's the best thing from? extra desktop is 100% clutch if you have a Teams meeting going and they're presenting stuff. You can just put oh, that true. on Dang. the next one over so you can still hear everything and you just swipe over when you want to see what they're presenting and swipe back to your regular stuff on your screen when you're not. Are you saying Fantastic. you're working during people's presentations in their meetings, Tony? Everyone does that. 100%. I don't. I pay attention 100%. You don't even it's pay attention to It's a waste of time. Podcast. Man, you're wasting yeah. your university you're, money. Taxpayer barely, dollars right there. You're barely paying attention right now. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Can confirm. <laughs> 
All right. What were anyway, we the, the even Thanos, talking about? The Thanos snap feature oh, looks yeah, very okay. cool. The, go watch the GIF and you'll be excited. It's yeah. in beta. Just the way right? the, the it's in beta just... right now, right? Though you can't yeah, get it for beta. the main. Oh, dang. Okay. So it's not get... out for the normies yet. Not for oh, October unless, usually. We get, yeah, uh... unless you're on the beta. I mean, you can go join the beta right now if you want. Have you guys yeah, ever done that? Have you guys ever I been have. brave enough to join the beta? I did. I regretted it. I'm not doing it ever again. I did it on my Pixel and I fully regretted it. I've never regretted it. Oh. Are you are you on the eighteen right now? No, I'm not. Unfortunately, I what should you, be. I don't yeah, know why I'm not. What are you even doing? Do it for the podcast. What are you even yeah. doing with your life? Well, I all thought right. maybe Tone or Owen and I were going to switch phones at some point, but I don't think nope. that's ever going to oh, happen. Oh yeah, that's going to no, happen. That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> I don't. I don't need that in my life. All right, he doesn't want it. All right, let's talk about Intel. Intel. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, so they're good. they're having a rough go right now, and Oof. I can't say that it isn't deserving. I'm pretty ticked off. They so hold on, hold on. Explain this to me like I'm five, because I have not followed this at all. Okay, I just know they're so having a bad time. Here is the latest bad time that Intel is having. Their 13 and 14 gen CPUs, which is their current and previous generation CPUs, have uh, some sort of faulty. They haven't really said clearly if it's a hardware-related thing that's being fixed with microcode or if it was microcode that's been bad this whole time where uh, they basically run them too hot and with too oh. much power. That's and bad so, news bears. Exactly. And so we had, for quite a while now, a lot of reports of people that have been having issues with their computers crashing or just performing very poorly. Degrading. And the only thing that's been helpful to these folks is some of the BIOS... Uh, excuse me, some of the motherboard manufacturers would put out BIOSes that basically just put all the settings to the CPU that are power-related and things to the just the baseline. Nothing nothing higher than that, no extra boost above, you know, what is just the absolute bare recommendation by Intel. And that seemed to solve the problem for a lot of people, but at that point, you're not getting the full usage of the yeah. hardware that you purchased. And they finally came out and said, okay, we have a micro code update that we're going to push that's going to fix it. However, the problem is that doesn't solve it for all of these other people that have had it forever. And it has actually physically damaged their chips yeah. and they can't so the push micro up to code, the higher frequencies and yeah, things like the that. The micro code destroys, it overvolts mm -hmm. a sector of the chip and destroys that permanently. Exactly. And so and you, depending on how long you've had it, it has degraded permanently. It's like eating lead chips, you know, yep. like brain damage so they have uh, now stated that they will extend the warranty on those 13th and 14th gen cpus for an extra two years what does that mean though they know it's being damaged i think they should do a recall and offer you, you a new you chip would replacement think, you would think right? that would be they're a gonna, smart thing to do they're just going to try and basically ride it out and anyone that you know puts in an rma will get a new chip so basically um, they're hoping that half the population doesn't even figure doesn't it out notice. Exactly. Yeah, they're probably they right they won't i know and, that's yep. what that is yeah. such shady crap so they're angry. pushing that micro code out uh, soon to fix that, um, at least for the chips that haven't already been permanently damaged. And then, and uh, if you have one, it has been to some degree. It's just inevitable. Yeah. Like, probably because they all we're, we're they talking all about. Been. We're talking about uh, the what were previously stock settings from the motherboard yeah. manufacturers right. that were that were allowed to overrun themselves by the chip basically yeah. when you so. have the boost features on when it can uh -huh. boost itself that's when the microcode was destroying sectors of the chip which is exactly. on the default because you want it to be able to boost up for high loads and so go chance, down chances are if you have one of these chips it's been damaged maybe it hasn't been to damaged degree, to the point right. where you've noticed where you're it noticing yet. yeah exactly. and maybe the microcode will be soon enough that you don't ever notice it but right most people will just assume is it is it Windows? Why is exactly. Windows crashing all the yeah, time? Yeah, why is Rebuild Windows? Windows. How, how would they or, diagnose may, that? Maybe or, I need to replace my right. RAM, or you know, maybe or I need to reinstall and, Windows. Consumers as well. Computers get old; they just get a new one that's faster. You know, and you got to wonder if Intel knew that. Like, and they're like, well, maybe this because they've known about it. They've known about it. They've uh, known that it was a problem, but I they don't didn't think know they've the known answer. how to fix it. Yeah. No, but so. knowing about it and still just letting it destroy the chip permanently, even if they didn't have a fix. Like yeah. they were like our shares been will tank, and guess what? Their shares sure. have done. Oh yeah, Dang. exactly. <laughs> if you bought Intel twenty five years ago, it's it's worth you, the same now. It's the worth it the same right 25 now. Twenty five years ago. Yeah. So, should I should I buy Intel right now? Is that what you're telling me? No. I, I don't know. I wouldn't. 
No, they're never coming have, back. They don't have anything they have in nothing the near in the future pipe, right? pipeline no. that, will, re- that is compelling. Well, actually, they did have some good news today. Um, what? What are yeah, you talking their, about? Their next fab is, is looking good, so... In okay, 2026, another, you'll be uh, fine. They're going to have a new Maybe. fab, a new a new fab factory that can produce their chips that aren't very good. How is <laughs> that a bonus? That are broken from the start. So that basically, the, does the Unicode, does the microcode fix just make it so that it sets those voltage settings to the lowest? Like it basically no, just turns I, off their I boost don't know. They haven't, they, they haven't released. They haven't released oh, details. I guess we'll so. see we'll when. See. When that hits, there's a guy I follow yeah. on TikTok called Pirate Software, and he's he used to work for Activision. He's really cool. He's been going over this um, in depth. Um, he's worked a lot of red teams and stuff for Microsoft, for the U.S. government. Anyway, go check that guy out, but he explains it really well. He's called Pirate Software. Nice. Um, well, as a result of all of this uh, what not happening for Intel, and like I said, I mean, they, I, I can't say that I didn't, I'm See going AMD stuff now. Stuff like this happening because they've been resting on their laurels basically for five years. Long time without no, putting out. They've had, they've been trying for the last couple of years. They've been resting on their okay. laurels far before that. That's true. They've but but here's the thing. They're trying to dig out now. They're trying over the last three four years. Just hasn't been very good. Can you imagine you if know? AMD would have got a hold of this information back when they were doing their big pushes on those 7800s, like the 3Ds? Oh like, yeah. They would have just. Myrtleated. Oh Intel. yeah. Be like, as, you as want a res- chip that doesn't kill itself? Go AMD. Buy one of ours. As a result of that, though, um, Intel is uh, announcing a massive layoff. Fifteen percent of their workforce, which That's is fifteen thousand or more employees. Twenty thousand. I read. Um, this article says up to seventeen thousand four seventy five. Oh, okay. So between yeah. fifteen to twenty, who, who knows? I don't Get think Intel of, even knows yeah. at this point. Yeah, yeah reduce yeah. talent. That reduce your talent in engineering. That should help you solve the problem <laughs> a little bit faster. Yeah. So right now they're doing voluntary layoffs. So those that want to leave with a nice severance. Well, yeah. I don't know if it's nice or not. Can um, they're honestly the first it, to be retired. <laughs> For for the businessy type positions where you can just go somewhere else, I would totally do that. Yeah. Right. Um, but there's many positions where you can only get a job at a few. <laughs> another fab. Another yeah. fab, and there's only yeah. a couple of those in the world, so yeah. that's that's yeah. not that great. That sucks. Um, and then rumors are that come October, that's when they'll start doing mandatory layoffs. Oof. Um, so a lot of people just don't know what's happening right now. They're in this uncertainty phase over the next three months, which just mm-hmm. sucks. That super and sucks. that uncertainty is being yeah. reflected in their stock prices. So, but yeah. I'm I'm surprised it's taken this long, honestly, because they they missed mobile, uh, they missed GPUs, mm-hmm. they missed AI, but and they had that single threading. You know, they had that they had those gamers. And even lately, they're they've been surpassed by AMD for their bread and butter. So what about their server? What about their server line? The Xeon Xenon is that. Xenon is that their uh, bread yeah. and butter in the they server They have been area? pummeled by AMD's Epics. Yeah. Oh. Uh, AMD Epics are so good. The last and three years, years, right? Last three generations, like it's it's Oof. wild. Yeah, it blows. The crazy thing about this is you think back to five years ago, and what did uh, what did Intel do that I think I think might have been the uh, the final nail in the coffin, at least for this round of problems. They, did they ago, release on? Didn't they release ago. on the same nanometer? You know? uh, well, that was an ongoing issue for yeah. about five years. Yeah. But they had Jim Keller on their staff as the lead architect on their CPUs, and that guy is a rock star. That guy is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, responsible for the first time AMD was the leader in performance back in uh, 2000. He was the one that pioneered the first dual core processors with AMD, first to market. And then he came back to AMD and he's the one that got going everything going for the Ryzen stuff. I mean, the guy the guy is a is absolute rock star and so he, AMD he, had the, and then had he the went to core, Intel. Right? He went to Intel after he was done at AMD and 18 months later he pieced out. So either Didn't he they, go to Apple or am I imagining? Oh, that? no, that's right. In between 
AMDs. He was at Apple, and he was one of the people that was. Uh, you do the M, key... the M series? No, no, key for oh. the uh, uh, bio... the A series for the phones. Oh, those A ones. When they started making their own uh, that is SOCs a great chip for the still. phones. Yeah, uh, yeah that's it... so everything this guy touches turns to gold. Like he is, he's an absolute rock star in. Uh, you know, so to see him peace out from Intel, you're like, he it makes something. me wonder. It's like, so were they either so far gone that he yeah, didn't want to like, start this over? An unse- this is an unsavable. Or did he butt heads with them and didn't they didn't want to take his suggestions? You know, I don't he know. He probably but wanted to blow the lid off the issue. I think that uh, they made a huge mistake letting him go. If I was if I was at Intel, I would have given that man anything he wanted to keep working for yeah. for us, for them. To write that ship. Yep. Anyway, um, that's the Intel news. So what happens if you need to exercise warranty? Like, how do you, you have an like, extra two years? You just so call. what what qualifies you to exercise it? Like uh-huh. any degraded performance, your say, I feel sure. like it's slower. And what's I the warranty? Feel it. And what's I... the warranty? A new chip that's going to kill itself? Because I've got a I've got an Intel, um, you know, in some of these X1 extremes, these Lenovo's that are. But are they 13, laptop 14th chips, gen? Laptop chips aren't affected. It's oh, just the, the desktop. Chip. Oh, okay. It's just Plus, it's only okay. the 13th and 14th gen, but the ones you have aren't 13th, 14th gen. Oh, yeah. They? Correct. I don't know. So, that's right. Anyway, yeah. it's uh, we'll, be, we'll be keeping an eye on that and letting you know how it goes. Um, let's see. This, uh, I wanted to touch on uh, a BS because this is pretty good news solid state batteries are creeping ever closer to being in our electronics i saw a bs story the past two weeks i think it's interesting i can tack on to this good going tony samsung announced uh, or took part in sne battery day 2024 expo in seoul korea a whole bs the whole bs franchise All that's right. right and they were showing off their solid state battery tech basically saying that uh by 2027, they expect to have a at least a 1% solid-state battery penetration rate in the battery market, um, which when you think of how big the battery market is, that, that can be substantial. That's a good start, you know. But they're basically saying they'll have uh, EV batteries that will do 600 miles of range on a charge mm. and recharge in nine minutes nine and, minutes that's you know, that, baloney that's the dream right there so that's amazing not only that these are much more robust batteries in that they are, expect their lifespan the, to be yeah, 20 years recharge cycles aren't yep aren't murdered by up and in and out by the... this will make evs the obvious choice for a new car for oh anyone. absolutely yeah, yeah when you can get 600 miles of charge and recharge in nine, nine and the battery minutes, doesn't die in yeah, five I mean, six yeah. years at that point like, the only at that point the only thing standing in the way of huge ev adoption would be um if there's issues with the uh, power yeah. grid you know right maintaining enough power for for everyone to do so i actually ran i run i ran across a cool solid state i'm just gonna just real quick there's actually products out in the world right now there's a company called yoshino that makes a solid state battery power pack guess what in the real world we talk about this already no but uh i watched a a video by matt farrell undecided with matt farrell where he Uh talked about this battery pack he had to take the video down after a week oh really (sighs) And now he's put up another video today that I saw where he talks. Oh, I did not see that today. He talks over his previous video, like pauses it and explains a few things. Turns out they're not being oh. very honest about their oh, no. solid state stuff. I thought this was such good news. Yeah, I know. Like I H- was really this bummed is like out the, to hear that. This is like H- putting an HDR on the box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 8K, 8K. 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 Are you K sure about the, that? Yeah. 8K? 8K. 8K. Yeah, so, I, I, I ran across that a, a couple weeks ago. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I should mentioned in the podcast and i totally forgot about it until you brought it up i'm like oh yeah. no and uh he said he he is in touch with the people that did the tear down and found this out and he's trying to get in touch with the company that makes the bat the packs um so he's going to do another video that goes through all of that later Very on cool so, i've well, been interested dang it i've been interested in those lithium iron phosphate batter phosphate batteries yeah those are actually in the market and those yeah. are those are pretty L- rad for they, certain L- reasons lion, lion but so it's lion lion energy uh-huh. They do a power. They call it a sanctuary, but it's a power wall that is like half the size because they're the lithium iron phosphate batteries are so much more energy dense. So they're expensive though. 
super expensive. I thought lithium iron was less energy dense, oh, but well, you could use it for longer oh, more maybe, cycles. Oh, maybe that's what the guy said. I ran into a guy at Costco that totally sold me on it, and I just went and looked at the. <laughs> Is whole that one reporting on stories that he heard from a guy in Costco? <laughs> no, I was. Is that what we've come to? He thought TikTok no. was bad. A Costco. <laughs> Okay, to be fair, to be fair, <laughs> to be, to be, be fair. fair, it was the most awkward conversation I've ever had with another human, and I am a. And this awkward, makes it better to report and on. I am an awkward human. I might have to tell the story in the in between because it's a little bit too spicy. Not spicy. I don't know. It makes me look like a dick. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this. Yeah, All I'll right. put it in the. I'll put it in the in between. I don't want. To, I don't want this out in the. If you, want, if you want access to the in between, in between, you want to hear me support be us on Patreon. Jack wagon, I'll I'll will tell the story in the in between. Excited! All right, uh, let's see. I think we have a story here about Elon doing Elon thing. You know, I'm gonna hit that no one, one real quick because it only takes two seconds. Okay. He uh, <laughs> he shared a doctored uh, video. Yes. Ag against the uh, Harris campaign on X. Did. Without what? labeling it as fake, and it and it uses uh, AI generated an AI generated version of uh, Vice President oh, Harris God. saying things like uh, "I'm the ultimate diversity hire," blah blah blah, um, and without the fake tag, without that's, the fake tag, that's the biggest part. Without the fake tag, and this story came from the 28th of July. I checked today before we got started. The post is still up. It hasn't been taken down. Whoa. It's still there. Nonsense. Yeah. Elon is definitely a don't do not do the things I don't like, but I'm going to do the things yeah. you don't like. Do you what know. I say. Not, not what as I, I do. do. Yeah. What a jerk. So anyway, oh, I man. just saw that and I was I like, mean, that's Elon doing Elon things yeah. right there. Um, and then, Jaron, was there any uh, anyone anything else you wanted to hit on before we go? Nah, I can save it for next week. Okay. Well, there you go. That is the end of today's episode. Geek Show Help Desk, thank you so much for tuning in. Before we go, big shout out to our awesome Patreon backers, patreon.com slash helpdeskarcade. If you donate six shekels a month or more, you get a shout out on the air along with the other goodies like uh, access to the secret Discord channel and access to the in-between where we get salacious stories and, of And, and Owen the other being goodies only cost a dollar. That's all you need is a dollar. Yeah, all of that stuff you get for a buck. But for the people that donate $6 a month or more, you get a shout-out, which Jaren has right now. Huge thanks to David Roshinsky, Wait, hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 Aaron stop, stop, stop. Faulkner, One Connor Keesaw, Wiffleball Tony. Once I start, I can't stop. No. That's how important Patreon He's users gotta are. Get the I can stop him. Him. I just muted He's got to get to the... So what did you want to say? Got to get Lando? to the mole. Hill I, I, little, little, little. I, I said, yeah, you, they get a special <laughs> shout out, but really, really, what this is is you get a, you get to make Jaron say whatever you want him to That's say. You can say, big, big you perk. can name it whatever you huge want. Huge perk. Big perk. Go ahead. Like, oh, something by the about way, Star Wars or Uncle what's that Swing show he likes? What's that? What's that franchise? That gaming franchise he likes? It's not really good. They made a movie that really sucked, but Halo. Uncharted, I think. Uncharted. Oh, was, it was no, Uncharted. They never made a, they never made a though, Halo movie. Even there though Jaron Spurn still six shekels a month to get Jaron to say whatever I want him to. By the way, no pressure, Jaron, but uh, Uncle Squinky's not changing his molehill one until you get it right two shows in a row. So if you that can get it right, happen. if you can get it right on Help Desk and Arcade, he will change it. But Buckle until up, then, it's going to happen. <laughs> Right now. <laughs> Thank no you pressure. to David Broshinsky, Aaron Faulkner, Connor Kesaw, and Wiffleball Tony, Jason Eatman, Mies Chonis, Magnets, How Do They Work, Archie the Archivist, Be the Eight-Year-Old, Michael Shane, Tony the Home Theater Geek, Travis Johnson, Buy Geek Show Arcade Help Desk Stickers at Pine Man Graphics on Etsy. All proceeds go to Lee George Cade's Medical Bills, Jeremy, No Name No Color, Keslo, Eric Steinman, Eric Cruz, The In-Between Rating Plus 20. Wow. Yeah. Matt Nelson, Harry Patch, Wesley, Adam, Stuart Lloyd, the pro. Well, you already messed up. <laughs> ah, game over. Maybe pressure got week. to me. Okay, <laughs> I'm starting over. It uh, doesn't count. Oh. The pr problem with society is there nope. are no molehills so that can be mountain climbed over. Ryan M and Adam Hex. Thank anyway, you guys. Well, so we get another glorious week of better luck next week. Molehills <laughs> and meatballs. <laughs> All right, that is the end. Thank you so much for making it. Thank you for downloading it, uh, downloading us. And uh, we will see you in Geek Show Arcade or next week in Geek Show Help Desk. Until then, Lando, take us out. Elon has ruined PayPal to the point we got Venmo. He's ruining both Tesla and Twitter, and it looks like we're getting threads and Rivian instead. He's like the Betamax of CEOs. B.
be an end user. Betamax is awesome. No.